on me, I cheat. <laughs> and water. It's really I got something nice in the water. <laughs> if it's, you know, room, as long as it's not raining and snowing up there, you'll be just fine. But Okay, I did the yeast first because I want it to dissolve, you know, and kind of sit there for a little bit. So I put the salt in one of them. Okay, half cup shortening. We're going to help you cheat again. You're going to have one of those nice little uh, sticks of shortening that's already measured to a half cup. Boom, done. You know, you're all measured. Quick and easy. Me, I'm going to have to rely on my finger to get this out. But we're going to make it easy for you so you'll have one of those nice sticks already done. You just Peel it off like a stick of butter and boom, you're done. Okay. What goes next? A tablespoon. Here's the salt. A teaspoon equals a tablespoon. I've got one large. Here, here's the salt going in. It was two tablespoons or two teaspoons if you if you look in the original recipe, but when we made it, it just needed a little more salt. So. Okay, another one. Three fourths cup powdered milk. Powdered milk. You'll have one of these. Three quarter cup powdered milk. Already measured, all ready to go. You just dump it in. you're going to do all the tutu, right? Squirt, squirt. That looks like about two tablespoons. If you want it a little sweeter, make it three. You know, that's totally up to you. <laughs> I never measure, so this works She never measures, and I always measure, so. Okay, okay did that, is that all the ingredients? Because I'm, I'm out of stuff to do now. I mean, as far as put into the pot. I don't have anything left. Not yet. Now comes the really fun part. I didn't like this the last time I did it, and I'm sure I don't like it today. But now you get to mix it thoroughly and add enough water to make it sticky. So about, start with about two cups. If you'd add the water here while I make a mess, then that would be great. So, so you, you just stick your hand in there, and you mix I'm it sorry. all up Carole. and make Please. it kind of sticky. Thank you. And your hand gets covered with dough. You see why I have to do this? Yeah. <laughs> okay, and more water. That looks like the more. job for the murmuring teen girl. <laughs> That's your murmurer's job. I did wash my hands before I came out, just in case you wanted to know. That was a long time ago. That's not that <laughs> When I washed when I washed the well, knife and everything so off, I did I did wash We've my hands. I'm gonna need some more water. There's and you're welcome to come up and look in the pan and see what's going on if you're you know it's just I'm just making dough, that's all I'm doing. Did you put anything on the side of the pan? Nothing. It's just your raw pan. Just your raw boy. Look, I found another bay leaf. We won't cook that. <laughs> Who knows what you'll find up there? <laughs> up there, you might find a little bit of ash. Is it going to be white flour or wheat flour? White flour. <coughs> and I'm mixing thoroughly. enough to get it sticky, isn't that what it says? And mix and blend it. Just so I can get enough to make it sticky and blend it. Because the next thing you're going to do is you're going to add some more flour as you knead it dough around, and, you know. Knead it well. Then you knead it really well. It's crucial. It is crucial. <laughs> Not to break down that. That's great. 
Watch, I thought you were doing that. Ready? No, not yet. It helps so, to have someone else doing the flower It stuff. really does help. Because I, you know, if I were to pick up that cup, it would get covered with dough. Are you using your fingers to knead or just your fist? Everything. Everything. I'm squeezing and pushing. Okay, and squeezing go. and pushing is what I'm doing. We need a big mirror up above you so we can see. <laughs> elbow, elbow, wrist, wrist. No, I'm not waving. But that's, you know, I'm just twisting and grinding and punching it down. And it's sticky. It really is sticky. Now I'm ready. So once all that flour is incorporated, then you're ready. The and you have dough. And it just depends on how much flour you need to add will depend on how much water you put in. Right. So. The first time when we did it, we added a lot more water than we did this morning, so we used more flour. That was good. You'll have the whole five pounds of flour, though, so you'll be able to do whatever you need to do. Is that yeast enough for five pounds? Oh yeah. So well, you won't you won't be putting all five pounds in there. Trust me. You won't need to. There's enough to do. A lot of other recipes would use double the yeast, but this one works. Once we put that we proved that the recipe would work, we just kind of hung with it. Oh, it's getting there. No, don't. Put too much more. <laughs> I don't want to pound it all in, dear. Yeah, this is just demo. We're not eating it. <laughs> yeah, but we could. Yeah, I think I've got enough flour to be. Oh, we didn't add that much to that one. How much did we add? Three cups? Two and a half. want you to run short on flour, that's why we figured we'd give you the five pound bag and let you do whatever you needed to. And I am completely a novice when it comes to bread making. But I've been successful twice. Hopefully three doesn't blow the charm. Have we passed that? No. <laughs> Not done yet? Oh, man. I'm getting worn out up here. That's all right. We'll finish that. You'll have teenagers there that are ready to go with it. Glad I could make any kind of bread and make it come out. <laughs> so, do we need to add that need for 15 minutes on your list? If it's in writing and you have a murmuring team, you could say, see? Okay. All right, I'll put it in there. 15 minutes need. It's not me, it's them. Do it. They did it. Go get them. Okay. <laughs> Well, just so you know, there it is. It's actually, that's exactly what it looked like this morning when I put it into the oven. I just made a little ball like that, dropped it into the oven, and that's what you've got in the oven right now. So. 
Any questions? Okay, yeah, I did let you for two hours. Anywhere from an hour and a half to two hours without the assistance of, you know, something to warm it, keep it going. So. That's it. That's bread.